Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'll be talking about how we have to continue to let God into our hearts. Before I get into this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Comment down below any takeaways and share with somebody in need. Why? Because it's bigger than us. Now wait, wait, wait. You know I can't get started until I give you the tools. <laughs> Make sure you come with a pen and a notebook or a pen and a piece of paper. Come with an open mind, ready to receive all that God has for you on this video on today. All right, let's get started. So I want to tell you that we have to continue to submit our hearts to God every single day, daily. Because anything can, can anything, excuse me, can creep inside of our hearts. And so God wants our hearts. He wants to open, He wants us to let them in. So that he can come in there, he can clean it out. So he can change us from the inside out. Because oftentimes we're so used to, you know, uh, worrying about the outer appearance. But God, he looks at the heart. Because out of the heart, everything flows out the heart. Everything. Proverbs 4 and 23 says, Above all else, guard your hearts. For everything you do flows from it. I wish I would have been through that a long time ago. But even though I know it now, I still have to keep going. Still have to, you know, guard my heart. Still have to um, give God my heart. Allow him to clean it out. Allow him to continue to clean it out. Because we, ain't, we didn't always know about the scripture. And even though we do know about it, we still have to, you know, let it sink in so we can truly, really understand more about it and really learn understand what it means to guard our hearts and um allowing god to clean that stuff out of us that the unforgiveness that jealousy that envy um that bitterness all of the things that's inside of us that's not of him he want to clean it out he want to make you new he want to clean all that mess out so that when we begin to serve we'll be um serving with love Serving with love and with the right motives, with the right intentions. And so we have to let God in on today. God's not a God where he's going to be like, okay, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. And he's going to force his way in. No, God's not going to force his way in. He's going to sit there and wait. He's going to sit there and knock. And see, will we open the door? He'll continue to do that because we have to be willing to let him into our life, willing to let him clean us out, willing to let him change us, willing to let him stretch us. And stretching means uncomfortable. That means you're, it ain't, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look like this. That's what it's going to look like. But you should not worry about it because we in God's hands. And God's the one who is navigating our lives. So we're going get, to get to where we need to go. But... We have to continue to let him in. Give our hearts to him. Ask God to restore our hearts. Ask him like, you know, what can you do? God, lead me to your promises. God, lead me to your word. God can begin to send people in your life to help you. But right now, we have to allow God to just enter to our hearts and let him be the help. Before we go looking for anything else, let him to guide us. Let him guide us. Because he has everything that we need. And so I have a scripture for you. Another scripture. It is Revelation 3, 19 um, through 22. And it says, those whom I love, I rebuke. Now rebuke means to disapprove and it means correction. And discipline. So be earnest. Earnest means serious and sincere. And repent. Repent means change of thinking. Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. To the one who is victorious, which is us, that's you, that's you, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne. Just as I was victorious and sat down with my father on his throne, whomsoever hear whosoever excuse me has ears to let him hear the spirit what the spirit says to the churches 
Listen, God, God is waiting on us. He's waiting on us to come to him and allow him into our hearts. And it's gonna take some time. Like I said, even if we would have, even if we, even if we been knew the scripture, or like I said, I wish I would have knew this long time ago. Even if I did, my actions were lined up with the word of God. What I was, you know, what I'm saying. So we have to allow God to work through us. We have to give Him our heart. We have to, you know, let Him pluck out, let Him sit with God, and um, let Him just show us us, like where we at right now. And allow and be okay with him, you know, correcting us. Because he loves us. He loves everything about us. He's not going to steal us wrong. Because he said in Jeremiah 29, 11, he has plans for us. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Plans to give us hope in the future. And so we have to continue to let him in, let him in. As you let him in, the transformation is going to begin to happen. No, I'm not saying, oh, as soon as you let him in your heart, oh, I'm just going to sit and let God be God and let God do what he want to do and I'm going to be transformed. No, that's not how it works, okay? When we let God into our hearts, transformation do begins, but it also begins with you doing your part too. As God step. As you step, God gonna step. Let me say that. Because God's trying to see the effort that we put in. So he want, you know, us to step too. He want us to take that step. He want us to take that leap of faith. And believe. And continue to just walk. And he gonna be there with us. But he's trying to see, will we trust him? Even when we don't know what we're doing, will we still trust him anyways? We, will we trust that he gonna take care of us? Will we trust that no matter the situation that we're going through in life, that God got us. That he's going to turn around for our good and his glory. That he's going to bring us out. Will we trust him? Will you trust him? Will you trust him today? God got you. No matter what it looked like. We got to continue to guard our heart. We got to continue to give God our heart. We gotta continue to just sit down and be honest with God or what's in our heart and what we need and cry out to God and tell him that we need him. We don't wanna be this person no more. We wanna be a new creature that he has made us to be. He said old things have passed away. Behold, he said he's doing something new. You wanna become, cause I'm becoming every single day. We growing every single day. But we got to continue to come to God and continue to stay connected to him. Every day. It's an ongoing thing. It's a lifestyle. We don't never, we, we, we don't never stop, but continue to keep coming to him. And it's not easy, especially when trials come your way. But that's when we have to continue to come to him more. That's why I continue to let him in more. That's why I continue to open up our word more. And like I said, it's uncomfortable. Especially when we're so used to getting, up, getting our phone and get other stuff to distract us. We got to sit and allow God to speak to us. And that's what I'm working on. Sitting. We just got to sit and just listen. Allow him to do what he need to do. And let God in. got to let him in. Have I always let God in? No, I didn't. I didn't always let him in. And I'm working on, I'm, I'm working on letting them in more. I'm working on just, you know, taking, um, I'm working on allowing God to work through me. And I'm working on acknowledging where I'm at right now. Acknowledging the level of my life where I'm at right now. Acknowledging that, okay, it's more potential that I need to tap into. It's more potential that you need to tap into. Acknowledging that I don't have it all together. And in acknowledging and letting God know that I need help. God, I need help for you to clean up my heart. I don't want to become the same person. I want to be able to learn to communicate even more with other people. I want to learn to be more like you. I want to get deep roots like I need for you, from you. So when the storms of life come, 
it won't knock me down because I got deep roots in you. We gotta be more like God. We gotta be more closer to God. Cause the enemy, he gonna come. He gonna come. When the enemy come up, come like a flood. God gonna see his spirit to lift us up. That's what he gonna do. God come to save us. God comes to help us get our life together. But we have to decide, do we want the transformation? Do we want to be changed? Do we want to help other people? Do we want to serve? Do we, un do we um, not just think of ourselves? Or oh, I'm just getting this transformation for me and I want to look good and, and make sure my body look nice and all of the things. But no, it's bigger than you. If you didn't know that, I want to remind you that this whole thing is bigger than you. But you got to step out. You the one that God chose. You the chosen one. He chose you. Yes, you. But he just needs you to be willing. Will you say yes to God today? Will you give him your yes? Don't let him just be at the door by himself. And as God's working through me to speak to your heart right now, he is speaking to me. So I'm receiving it. I want you to receive it. We can't no longer let God just sit at the door and just sit at the door just knocking. He just knocking. He just knocking. He just knocking. He just knocking. But we can't hear it because we're distracted. We in this book. We texting. We doing this and third. We got to be able to sit with him. And some people are, you know, you may be distracted off of social media. Maybe social media that you're distracted on. Or the TV. You know, things like that. God, he wants to cut off the noise and he wants us to hear him clear. He wants us to sit and get into his word. Sit and find some promises or, you know, what you're struggling with, Rick, excuse me, what you're struggling with. And allow him to lead you into the word. I continue to get into the word. Continue. Continue to build that habit of getting into the word. Because I want to be able to get into the word. Like I open my word up, of course, every single day. But I want to be able to continue to get into the word and make it a habit. And not be like, oh, I got to get in the word today. No. No. Even when I'm tired, I want to be able to see open up my word. It's, it's, it's many ways that we can get to the word. We can read it. Verbally read it. Listen to it. In different ways you can get the word. Different ways they have devotionals. It's gonna lead you back to the word because it get, it give you a scripture. God got plenty of resources. He have abundant of resources out here for us. We gotta start putting limits on them. Gotta start putting limits on ourselves and thinking that we can't do this. How I'm gonna do this? How I'm gonna draw close to God? Get you a physical Bible. Of course, the Bible app is great too. It has plans and all of that. But it's not like in your physical Bible when he wants you to shut off your phone. And he wants you just to, you know, push back from social media for a little while and just spend some quality time with him. You can get your devotional and they have like a scripture on it. You read that devotional, you go to that scripture, you ask God, what is he saying to you in that scripture? Pray, pray to him and ask him to make it come alive to you. And maybe he'll direct you to a video. If you're a visual learner, maybe he'll do that. Maybe he'll direct you to a, a book in his word. However he do it, just receive and allow him to work through you today. Let God into your heart. To get today, excuse me, let him in. We got to let him in. We got to give it to him. If anything we're going through, got to give it to him. We got to lay it down to him. Because God will nothing but the best for us. He been wanting the best for us ever since we were born. He got us. And God walked this earth. Like I said before, he, he walked this earth, but he did not sin. And so he's showing us there is a way out, but you got to want it. There is a way out, but we have to, we have to put in that work. 
we have to make sure we, you know, we're going, we going hard and understand that it's bigger than us. And do what we have to do to become, to continue to become and go to the next level God needs us to be. We gotta keep going. We gotta be just like God. What did God do? What did he do in that situation? It's plenty, you know, um, areas in the Bible. We just gotta go back and look at his examples. What did Jesus do? How did he handle that situation? How should I handle my situation? How should I handle this situation? How did, how did Jesus communicate when uh, the enemy was coming his way? That's how we should um, communicate. And so we all have to learn to do that. To be, to be able to be more like Jesus. Decrease us and increase him. Because he's the king of kings. He's the lords of lords. He is a good shepherd. He is a good shepherd. So I just want to just leave you with this message. Continue to let God into your heart. Continue to let him in. Because he can clean you up. Mm -hmm. He can clean you up. He can clean you up. I seen it. Um, oh, here it is. Psalms 103, verse 12. It says, He has removed, it says, He has removed our sins as far as from us as east is from the west. God has removed our sins as far as, as, far as east is from the west. God want us to keep on coming to him. No matter what it looked like in your life. Know that God is the answer. And know that it's time for you to put some um, effort into this thing. It's time for you to um, get focused. It's time for us to give God our hearts. To continue to submit to him. And give it to him. Allow him to, you know, work on us. Now, I'm not saying that once you let God in, oh, you know, the storms you're going through, you're not going to go through them. He going to just, you know, he going to move it out the way. No, that's not what I'm saying. Because you got to get the lesson out of the storm. He's going to be there with you. You got to invite him in there with you. You got to stand on his promises when a storm come. You got to pray like you never pray before it continues to pray. No matter what. Because he's going to continue to show up. But you got to get the lesson out your storm. And understand why. Like what's going on. What is God trying to teach me here? Because we can't no longer point the finger at nobody else. But we have to get the lesson what God's telling us. We have to allow him to um, make us into the person that he needs us to be. You're going to look back and you're not, you're not going to be able to recognize yourself. You're like, wait a minute. I used to do that. I used to say that out my mouth. I used to watch. I used to be around those people. That's what I used to do. God going to show you. But when he shows you and you see that was once you, you're not really going to recognize that person. You're gonna be like, you're gonna not gonna, it's not going to click. Like, that was me. That's why it's important for you to get your transformation to help somebody else. Because when you start to understand and you start to see like that was you, then you will understand like God gave me grace and God continued to heal me and deliver me from those things. And now I can help my next brother or sister in Christ because they're going through the same thing. And they need to know the proper stuff that you took, that God gave you. They need to know the proper steps so that they can do it. They need that encouragement from you. And so today, I continue to give, give it to God. To lay, we cannot hold no more. To lay it at his feet and to give it to him. Give it to him. Because God is, um, God is doing something with you. 
but you have to you you have to be willing to do it you have to give it to god you have to say god i don't want this no more i need your help i need you to help me i need you to clean it up out of me i don't want to be this person no more lord what can, what can i do you can trust in the lord with all your heart Mm -hmm. and lean out on your own understanding. Read Proverbs um, chapter... Let me see. I know it, but I'm going to try to um, make sure I say the right thing. But know that God got you. No matter what it looked like, okay? Understand that he got you. So... um. Yeah, I might get to it, y'all. Give me a minute, because I want to be able to say the right scripture. Um, let's get into it. Um, Proverbs chapter chapter three, verses five and six, and it says, "Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him." And he will make your path straight. Submit. Submit. That's what we're talking about. To submit it to him. To give it to him. Submit him. Submit your heart to him. Give him your heart. We got to submit our heart to him. We got to give it to him. We got to let him clean it out. We got to submit our thoughts to him. So he can take every negative thought captive. We got to submit. Submit. We got to give it to God. We can't, we can't carry this thing. He has the capacity. You're not able to get a lot of stuff from God because we have to give. It's an exchange. It's got to take place. Got to give God something. He gonna give us. He gonna give us something. He gonna refresh our soul. But we gotta trust, trust in Him. No matter what it looks like, we have to stand on His word. Because in the word it says that man cannot live by bread alone. We can't just live off of physical food. We have to stand on His word. We have to get into his word. This is gonna, this right here that feeds our spirit. This is what we need. And that's Matthew 4 and 4, okay? But this is exactly what we need. This right here, this word right here is powerful. And that's why we got to continue to meditate on. We got to continue to get into the word. And we got to continue to let God just make us whole allow him to deliver us from things in our life and continue to come to him it's all that i have for you on today but i have a question for you will you let god in today will you let him in today whatever your answer is I want you to give it to God. I want you to tell God. I want you to lay it at God's feet. That's what I want you to do. Sit with God. Let it at God's feet. Release it. If, if you're releasing the tears, come. That's good. Release it. That's the question I left you with. Now here's a challenge. I'm challenging you and me. I challenged you. I challenge you today. Sit some quiet time with God and just come to God and ask him. Not even just ask him, come to God and tell him how you've been feeling and tell him what you no longer want to hold into your heart and submit your heart to him today. Submit your heart to him. And give it to him. Have that conversation with God. All right. I know this video is going to bless everyone that come across it. So y'all have a great day or a night. Remember that you are not alone. You're never alone. God is always by your side. You keep going. Keep showing up. 
and you keep allowing God to get you uncomfortable. Have a great day or night. Whenever you watch this video, 